In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, dear friends and pilgrims to the shrine of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawa. Today is Pentecost Sunday. Let us prepare ourselves to celebrate the Holy Eucharist by calling to mind our sins and by asking God for pardon and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who by the mystery of today's great feast sanctify your whole church in every people and nation, pour out, we pray, the gifts of the Holy Spirit across the face of the earth and with the divine grace that was at work when the gospel was first proclaimed, fill now once more the hearts of believers. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Luke describes the descent of the Holy Spirit in tongues as of fire, which rests on the apostles and fill them with courage to proclaim the good news of Jesus. Pentecost marks the birth of the church, the new people of God. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the time for Pentecost was fulfilled, they were all in one place together, and suddenly there came from the sky a noise like a strong driving wind, and it filled the entire house in which they were. Then there appeared to them tongues as of fire, which parted and came to rest on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven staying in Jerusalem. At this sound, they gathered in a large crowd, but they were confused because each one heard them speaking in his own language. They were astounded and in amazement they asked, Are not all these people who are speaking Galileans? Then how does each of us hear them in his native language? We are Parthians, Medes, and Elamites, inhabitants of Mesopotamia, Judea, and Cappadocia, Pontus, and Asia, Phrygia and the Pamphylia, Egypt and the districts of Libya near Cyrene, as well as travelers from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs. Yet we hear them speaking in our own tongues of the mighty acts of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit and renew. Bless the Lord, O my soul, 
O Lord my God, you are great indeed. How manifold are your works, O Lord! The earth is full of your creatures. Lord, send out your Spirit and renew the face of the If you take away their breath, they perish and return to their dust. When you send forth your Spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your Spirit, and renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord be glad in His works. Pleasing to Him be my theme. I will be glad in the Lord. Lord, send out your Spirit and renew the face of the earth. The Spirit is the bond of unity. His varied gifts should lead not to division, but to unite and peace in our community. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, no one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. There are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same Spirit. There are different forms of service, but the same Lord. There are different workings, but the same God, who produces all of them in everyone. To each individual, the manifestation of the Spirit is given for some benefit. As a body is one, though at many parts, and all the parts of the body, though many, are one body, so also Christ. For in one spirit we were all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, slaves or free persons, and we were all given to drink of one spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Come, Holy Spirit, come and from your celestial home shed a ray of light divine. Come, Father of the poor, come, source of our store, come, within our bosom shine, you of comforters the best, you the soul most welcome guest, sweet refreshment here below, in our labor rest most sweet, grateful coolness in the heat, Solace in the midst of all, O most blessed light divine, shine within these hearts of yours, and our inmost being fill. We were where you are not, we have not, nothing good indeed or taught, nothing free from taint of ill. Heal our wounds, our strength renew, on our dryness pour your dew, wash the stains of guilt away. Bend the stubborn heart and will. Melt the frozen, warm the chill. Guide the steps that go astray. On the faithful who adore and confess you evermore. In your sevenfold gift descent, give them virtue's true reward. Give them your salvation, Lord. Give them joys that never end. Amen. Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation of the Holy Gospel as written by St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked, where the disciples were, for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. I shall read a prepared homily of the Archdiocese of Lingayen, the Gupan, for today, Pentecost Sunday. We celebrate the sending forth of the Spirit to the Church as a fruit of the death and resurrection of Christ. The Holy Spirit was given to the Apostles not when they were at their best. Living in the memory of their betrayal, haunted by the reality of their frustrations and broken dreams, the Apostles were locked up and paralyzed. This was the context of the Lord's entering through the locked doors, breathing His Spirit on them and greeting them, Peace be with you. We may be 2,000 years away from the death of Christ, but we still live in the same condition. We are struggling to stay alive against COVID. We have our hidden inferiorities. We have our secret jealousies because the wicked are prosperous, while the righteous are mocked. Our levels of disappointment are high and deep. We cannot see our inborn goodness anymore. We live in confusion and doubt. We are afraid and lonely. We want to rebel, but we feel enchained. Heroism is a victim of vulgarity. Integrity is mocked by the corrupt. Patriotism gives way to the Chinese invasion of our seas in exchange for cheap vaccines. How long can we endure? We feel married to the wrong person. We feel employed in the wrong job. We are led by the wrong leader. We seem to be with the wrong friends. My body goes against my sexual attraction. We live in the wrong neighborhood. Everything seems to be wrong. We live in restless unhappiness. We feel like we were born to be defeated losers always. The apostles after the crucifixion needed help. We in our miserable depression need help. All people need help all the time. That helper we need is the Holy Spirit. St. John describes the Holy Spirit as the helper and as advocate, which in modern language is a lawyer who defends our cause. When society makes us the scapegoat for its errors, the Holy Spirit is our defender. When the cancel culture or the Facebook unfriend mood hurts us, the Holy Spirit is our helper and advocate. When those we voted for call us stupid for believing in campaign promises, the Holy Spirit will be our defense. Liars go to hell, we believe this. We all need help. That help can come by calling a friend. That help can come by borrowing from the pawn shop. That help can come by surfing the internet. That help can come in many forms. But all these helps can fail at some point. The Holy Spirit is the reliable, 
dependable, unrelenting, all-powerful helper who will never leave us even if our loved ones abandon us. We have not really given the Holy Spirit the chance to be the only helper to help us and the only advocate to defend us. Let us give the Holy Spirit a chance. All help comes from the Holy Spirit. People who help us are just tools of the Holy Spirit. Circumstances that help us are gifts of the Holy Spirit. Money to help us in our need, food to fill up our hunger, job to restore our self-worth, all these are helps. All these are blessings from the Holy Spirit. The best, most important, and most beautiful gift of the Holy Spirit is the Virgin Mary, who is also called the spouse of the Holy Spirit. The two oldest titles of Mary are Theotokos, which means Mother of God. And the second is Boethia, which means Helper. Mary is Helper because the Holy Spirit helped her. Tomorrow, the Archdiocese of Lingayan Dagupan will celebrate the Feast of Mary, Help of Christians, the patroness of our seminaries. The Holy Spirit, the Helper, sends us Mary, our Helper, in this time of great uncertainty and danger of sickness and death. Open your hearts to Mary, Help of Christians. Open your hearts to the Holy Spirit, our only helper. Amen. Konting dagdag na lang po. Ako yung nagpa, nagpaalam sa aking mga kaibigan dito sa Pangasinan, sapagkat kapag bukas ng immigration, ako'y tutungong Indonesia upang ishare ang ating pananampalataya doon. Pinabaunan nila ako ng bangus, ng mangga, at malagkit na bigas. Alam ko masigit pa doon, faith, hope, and love ang taglay ko galing sa mga kaibigan ko. Kaya po, ipagdasal nyo, pagdasal nyo rin ang patuloy na misyon ng Dominico, ng mga paring Dominico namin dito sa Manawag at sa buong Pilipinas kasama ang mga misyon sa Sri Lanka at sa Indonesia. Nawa, dumami pang lalo ang mga katolikong Kristiyano na maniniwalat magpapakalat, magsishare ng mga blessings ng Holy Spirit sa ating buhay. Let us all stand and profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us ask the Heavenly Father to fill us with the Holy Spirit, who will aid us in our weakness and be our advocate and guide. Full of trust, we pray, through the power of the Holy Spirit, listen to us, O Lord. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, listen to us, O Lord. Fill the hearts of our church leaders with your spirit, that they may discover their charisms in order to actively participate in proclaiming your truth to all. We pray. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, listen to us, O Lord. Send your spirit to government and civil leaders and rekindle the fire of their heart, that they may use their power and authority in the service of truth and liberation to our people from poverty, we pray. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, listen to us, O Lord. 
feel all consecrated men and women, missionaries and workers of evangelization with your spirit, that the good news of salvation may, re may reach the whole world and people may come to know you and your Son, Jesus, we pray. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, listen to us, O Lord. Send your Holy Spirit to comfort the elder, elderly, the sick, and the dying, and to give eternal life to those who have died, we pray. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, listen to us, O Lord. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intention. Father in heaven, listen to your people gathered in prayer. Send us your Holy Spirit and transform us as you transform the disciples at Pentecost. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brethren, that a sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as promised by your Son, the Holy Spirit may reveal to us more abundantly the hidden mystery of this sacrifice and graciously lead us into all truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for bringing your Paschal mystery to completion. You bestow the Holy Spirit today on those made your adopted children by uniting them to your only begotten Son. This same Spirit, as the Church came to birth, opened to all peoples the knowledge of God and brought together the many languages of the earth in profession of the one faith. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, we, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Stand. At the Savior's command and form the divine teaching, we dare to say.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. May these gifts we have consumed benefit us, O Lord, that we may always be aflame with the same Spirit whom you wondrously poured out on your apostles through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. We shall have the blessing of religious articles. And a prayer for the blessing of the sick. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. We shall bless rosaries and other religious articles in memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.